Hi guys, this is just a real quick video to show you uh, an update on the C128, Commodore 128 uh, Mr. Core. So this version of the core was released today, so 25th of June 22. Well, I've currently still got it in my dev folder because it's not been uh, officially released yet. If we spin this one up, the, uh, the link, if you want to check the uh, core out yourself, is in the video description, so you should be able to get it from there. Now what we're going to try here is some terminal emulation software, so we really want this in 80 column mode. So the way to do that on this core is out F7. Yeah. You may have to give it a reset after that. Okay, there we go. So, what I'm going to do is load up this piece of software. So, this is um, Dialog 128 version 2.2. I've tried a few other pieces of um, terminal emulation. Yeah, sort of I've so tried some other terminal emulation software, but um, without too much success yet. Although I haven't really tried it exhaustively, but this one does seem to work. So, we'll run with this for now. So if we just get a directory for that disk. Okay, and list that. Okay, so we're going to load dialog. Okay, and we'll run that. We can say no to that prompt and clear RAU buffers. Uh, we can say yes to that. Okay, and we're just going to run with uh, Haze compatible, so option seven there. Now I have found that when you get this splash screen up, it'll take quite a while, so, uh, <laughs> so bear with me, it will get there eventually. So whilst we're waiting for that, um, one of the main differences uh, between the C64 and the C128, uh, apart from the obvious one being the, uh, the amount of memory, 64 and the 64 um, and 128K and the uh, C128, the other key difference was the 128 um, was able to, uh, to operate in 80 column mode, which when you're using things like terminal emulation software is, is really quite useful. So there are some BBSs around that will operate in 40 column mode, um, but they're not as common. Um, so anyway, there you go. For me, that was one of the key benefits of, uh, of getting this C128 core up and running. Whilst we're still waiting for this. Sorry, this is the problem with doing it live. Or anything else I can tell you in the meantime. Um, Let's just have a look, see if there's any useful notes on the uh, the Mr. page. So if you go to the Mr. page, as I say, it's uh, it's linked on, uh, in the video description. There are uh, a few releases there, um, but I'm running the, uh, the latest version, so the 25th and the 6th, 22. Okay, right, there we go. That's enough waffle from me, so we seem to be up now. When you get to um, to this point, it'll it will take a little bit of time um, sorting out its config settings, doing whatever it needs to. It'll settle down eventually, and it should come up with uh, a config dialog. When we get to that point, we'll just check that the uh, the board rate set correctly and marries up with the settings on the uh, Mr. FPGA. There you go. Okay, right, and it's done it. So I don't know if you saw that, it was kind of quick. Um, if I go into the settings again, go to configure. So you can see here we've got a board rate set to 4800 and we're set for 8 done 1, pretty typical. And we'll run with that. So we're going to come out of there and just exit configure. Now, if I go into the settings for the Mr. UART mode is set to modem, and we've already got the, uh, the board rate set to 48. 
and we'll come out of that. So if I issue an AT command, there we go, we're getting an OK. So all good. So let's just try an old faithful. So we're doing ATD2, we're going to go to amstrad.simulant.uk on port 464. capture card actually it looks fine on the screen here so uh, it shouldn't do that when you try it if uh, if you were seeing that um, video gremlin there okay and we're in let's just have a read there you go so on my posts. That's fine. So now you're in, you can do whatever you'd, uh, you'd usually do with a BBS, uh, download some files, send email, um, whatever. So that was it. It was only a, a really sh um, short video just to show you that. Um, go have a play. Alright guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers for now.